Asante sana Brasband yetu kwa kazi nzuri. Naomba sasa tuketi. Viongozi wetu naomba tuketi. Mahafali ya 39 oye. Sauti yu aitoshi. Tonyeshi kama mefurahia sana kuhitimu. Mahafali ya 39 oye. Chuo kikuu huria, oye! Mkuu wa chuo mweshmi wapinda, safi! Mgeni wetu rasmi, Rais Shane, safi! Viongozi wetu wote, safi! Na wahitimu je? Asante ni sana wahitimu wetu wa mahafali ya 39 ya chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania. Kwa heshima kubwa kabisa, tunawakaribisha wageni wetu wote, hapa chuo kikuhuria, tukianza na mgeni wetu rasmi, uh, raisi wetu mstafu wa Zanzibar, daktari Mohamed Ali Shein, mweshmiwa mkuu wetu wa chuo, mweshmiwa mizengo, kayanza pita pinda, makamu mkuu wa chuo, profesa bisanda, na viongozi wengine wote ambao mehudhuria katika maafali haya, Pamoja na wahitimu wetu, mabibi na mabwana, itifaki mezingatiwa. Baada ya kusema maneno hayo ya utangulizi, tunaomba sasa kwa heshima kubwa kumkaribisha makamu mkuu wa chuo, Profesa Elfas Tozo Bisanda, ili aweze kuendelea na utaratibu. Profesa Karibu. Sante sana. E, naomba ni nianze kwanza kwa... Naomba kwanza nianze kwa kuomba radhi kwamba mwenyekiti wa baraza la chuo a, 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 ali, alipata shida njiani na atachelewa kufika. Hiyo ni kidogo ime, ime liweka katika wakati mgumu lakini naamini kwamba ratiba nyingine zote zitaendelea kama hivyo kawaida. Mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania Sasa ni nakukaribisha kuunda rasmi mkusanyiko huu kuwa mahafali ya chuo kikuu kwa minajiri ya kutunukisha shahada za uzamivu, uzamili, shahada za kwanza, sita shahada na asta shahada za chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania. Kwa mamlaka niliopewa natangaza rasmi kuwa mkusanyiko huu ni mahafali ya 39 ya chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania Jamani mahafali imefunguliwa na hii sasa ni mahafali ya 39 natakiwa tuishangilie vya kutosha kabisa Mahafali ya 39 oye! Awa ah, itimu bado wa mjachanga mkabwana. Mahafali ya 39 oye! Asante sana. Mweshmiwa makamu kuwa chuo, Profesa Bisanda, karibu uendele na utaratibu. Ndugu mgeni rasmi, mweshmiwa Dr. Muhammad Ali Shein, Raisi mstaafu wa awamu ya saba ya serikali ya mapinduzi ya Zanzibar. Mkuu wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania, mweshmiwa Mizengo Kayanza Peter Pinda. Mkuu, eh, mwakilishi wa mkuu wa mkuu wa wapwani na mwenyekiti wa kamati ya ushauri ya chuo, akiwakilishwa na mkuu wa wilaya ya Kibaha engineer Martin Temo <coughs> Waheshimiwa wakuu wa wilaya wote mlioko hapa Waheshimiwa wabunge mlioko hapa 
viongozi wote wa serikali na mashirika ya umma mliopo hapa wajumbe wa baraza la senate na baraza la chuo kikuulia cha Tanzania viongozi wote wa vyuo vya elimu ya juu na serikali vya serikali na vya binafsi mliofika hapa manaibu makamu mkuu wa kuu wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania wageni waalikwa mliofika kwenye mahafali haya wanajumuia ya chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania wahitimu wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania mliopo hapa wawakilishi wa vyombo vya ulinzi na usalama ndugu zangu wanahabari wote mlioko hapa viongozi na wakazi wote wa mkoa wa Pwani na majirani zetu mliofika hapa waheshimiwa wageni waalikwa mabibi na mabwana nianze kwa kuwakaribisheni nyote hapa katika mahafali haya ya 39 ya chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania katika viwanja vyetu hapa Bungo Kiba Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi leo ni siku ya furaha kwetu wanajumuia ya chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania kwa kuwa wewe mheshimiwa Muhammad Dr. Muhammad Shein rais mstaafu wa Zanzibar umekubali ombi letu la kuja kuwa mgeni rasmi katika mahafali haya ya 39 Kukubali kwako kuwa mgeni rasmi katika mahafali haya ni uthibitisho tosha kuwa ingawa umestaafu lakini bado unatoa kipaumbele kwa sekta ya elimu ya juu hasa ile inayotolewa kwa mfumo wa masafa kupitia chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania Napenda tena kuchukua fursa hii kuwashukuru na kuwakaribisha wageni waalikwa wote mlioacha shughuli zenu muhimu na kufika hapa kibaha ili kujumuika nasi katika mahafali haya ya 39 ya chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi mahafali haya ni ya kipekee sana kwani tumeweza kuungana na wenzetu wa Lawe Open University kutoka nchi ya Ghana ambao tuna ushirikiano wa kipekee Chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania ni mlezi wa chuo kikuu huria cha Ghana na wapo wanafunzi stina moja kutoka Ghana ambao leo watatunukiwa shahada mbalimbali zikiwemo za uzamili Pamoja na hao tunao wanafunzi wapatao 24 kutoka nchi zingine za nje kama vile Kenya, Malawi, so Malawi, Zimbabwe, Namibia, Uganda na kadhalika ambao watahitimu katika mahafali ya leo. Kwa hivi sasa tunapoendesha mahafali haya tuna tumeunganishwa na wenzetu kule Ghana na watakuwa wao wanatuangalia na sisi tunawaangalia kwa njia ya tehama Katika mafali ya leo tunao wageni kadhaa ambao wamehudhuria mafali haya kutoka nchi za nje na ambao ni marafiki wa chuo chetu na wamekuja kutuunga mkono pamoja nasi tunaye profesa Odemari Mbuya kutoka kutoka chuo kikuu cha Florida Agriculture and Mechanical University yeye asili yake ni mtanzania lakini ameishi miaka mingi sana kule Marekani na ni mtaalamu wa mambo ya maji na mambo ya kilimo tumeweza kuwa naye wakati wa sherehe zetu za convocation na tunaye hapa leo asubuhi leo karibu sana profesa Mbuya Ah, uh, mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi, chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania ni taasisi halisi yenye sura ya muungano. Uwepo wa vituo vya uratibu huko Unguja na Pemba unawawezesha maelfu ya wazanzibari kujiendeleza kwa njia ya elimu ya masafa inayotolewa na chuo hiki. Niseme tu kwamba tangu kuanzishwa chuo hiki, rekodi zetu zinaonyesha kuwa wanachuo wapatao 1392 wameweza kujidahili katika kituo cha Zanzibar na wanachuo 1142 wameweza kujidahili katika kituo cha Pemba 
hivyo kufanya jumla wa Zanzibar walio dahiliwa kufikia 1453 na kati yao tayari 1855 wamekwisha itimu veti na shahada ama shahada mbalimbali Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi katika mwaka 2012 chuo chetu kilianzisha masomo ya tehama kwa watu wa, kwa watu wenye ulemavu wa macho yani wasioona kwa kutumia ubunifu wa taalamu wetu katika chuo chetu na kwa kushirikiana na wadau mbalimbali walibuni software ambayo inamwezesha mtu asiyeona kuweza kutumia kompyuta na kuweza kupata mada zozote kutoka katika wavuti katika internet e, na hivyo kumfanya asitofautiane sana na wale wanaoona katika upataji wa mafunzo kwa njia ya tehama mafunzo haya yanatolewa bure na chuo chetu na amewasaidia wa, watu wengi sana wenye ulemavu wa macho katika jamii yetu pamoja na wanafunzi waliodaiwa kuweza kusoma chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania Hali kadhalika mafunzo haya yamewezesha wengi wao kumaliza za masomo yao katika muda karibu sawa na wenzao wanaoona. Vile vile mwaka 2014 chuo kilianzisha masomo ya tehama kwa watu wenye ulemavu wa kusikia. Kwa hiyo haya yalikuwa ni pamoja na kuwafundisha ufundi wa kutengeneza kompyuta na simu za mkononi. Kutokana na uwezo wa makundi haya mawili kutumia tehama Hivi sasa wame, wanaweza kuwasiliana wenyewe kwa wenyewe kwa njia ya barua pepe na tunajua imezoeleka katika maisha ya kawaida kwamba sio rahisi mtu asiyeona kuwasiliana na mtu asiyesikia Pamoja na ubunifu huo pia video zetu za kufundishi za kufundishia zina, zina, zimewekwa kwenye mtandao na zime, zinasaidia ku kuwasaidia wale wasioona kwa sababu zimetafsiriwa kwa lugha ya alama Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi zipo changamoto kadhaa zinazokikabili chuo chetu moja wapo ni changamoto ya uhaba wa nataaluma katika fani mbalimbali hasa katika baadhi ya fani ambapo wanataaluma zaidi ya sitini wameweza kuondoka chuoni kwa sababu mbalimbali mbali, kwa kustaafu kwa kufariki kwa kuteuliwa kwenda kwenye nyaji fa nyingine serikalini au kwa kuacha kazi na hawa hawajawa replaced tatizo kubwa limekuwa kupata vibali vya ajira kujaza nafasi hizo na pia kuwapata wanataaluma wenye sifa kwenye soko pale vibali vinapotolewa Tunaiomba serikali kuendelea kutoa vibali vya ajira za mkataba kwa waadhiri wa ndamizi baada ya kufikia umri wa kustaafu kwa mujibu wa sheria. Pia ni ombi letu kuwa maprofesa waendelee kufanya kazi hata baada ya miaka tano kama ilivyo katika nchi zingine ikiwemo Nigeria. Ambapo profesa upewa heshima ya kuitwa profesa emeritus inayowawezesha kuendelea kufanya kazi katika za utafiti na ufundishaji kusimamia wanafunzi hasa wanafunzi wa soma degree shahada za uzamivu na pia wanasaidia katika uta, uta, ufadhi, kutafuta fedha za ufadhili za miradi mikubwa ambayo ni, ni muhimu kwa maendeleo ya kiuchumi ya chuo Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi katika mafali ya leo wapo waitimu 2996 ambapo kati yao 1282 ni wa jinsia ya kike yani asilimia 43 Waitimu 21 wa, 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 wanawake wakiwa watano watatunukiwa shahada za uzamivu za chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania Lakini pi, lakini pia wako waitimu wa shahada za uzamili yani masters wapatao 289 kati yao tisini wakiwa wanawake Shahada shahada za uzamili au postgraduate diploma wapo 62 wanawake wakiwa 
na waitimu wa shahada ya kwanza wako 743 wanawake wakiwa 261 wanaopokea stashahada au diploma wako 722 wanawake wakiwa 365 na wanaopata stashahada wako 1159 wanawake wakiwa 53 sorry 343 343 Napenda nichukue nafasi hii kwa pongeza waitimu wote. Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi jumla ya waitimu wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania tangu kilipoanzishwa hadi kufikia mahafali ya 38 yaliyofanyika kule Lindi mwaka, mwaka huu ni 1043 mbili. Lakini baada ya mahafali ya leo idadi hii itaongezeka na kufikia 1046558. Hii si idadi ndogo na inadhihirisha mchango mkubwa ambao chuo hiki kimetoa katika kukuza rasilimali watu katika nchi yetu hasa katika maeneo ya vijijini. Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi mabibi na mabwana. Katika mahafali ya leo Naomba nitambue uwepo wa wahitimu kadhaa wenye nyadhifa mbalimbali ambao watahudhurishwa kuhitimu shahada mbalimbali. Tunaye mheshimiwa Charlestino Simbamile ambaye ni mkuu wa wilaya ya Mbulu. Yeye atatunukiwa shahada ya uzamivu katika uongozi na biashara. Tunaye Mr. Damas Suta kamanda wa PCCB mkoa wa Songwe yeye atatunukiwa shahada ya uzamivu katika uongozi wa biashara Tunaye mheshimiwa Kalorius Constantin Misungwi mkuu wa wilaya ya Kalambo atatunukiwa shahada ya uzamili katika utawala na uongozi Tunaye mheshimiwa mwanamvua Bakari Hoza mkuu wa wilaya ya Uvinza atatunukiwa shahada ya uzamili ya rasimali watu. Tunaye mheshimiwa Ramadhani Musa Ramadhani mbunge wa Jimbo la Singida mjini yeye atatunukiwa shahada ya uzamili katika utawala na, na uongozi. Tunaye mheshimiwa Agnes Hokororo mbunge wa Viti Maalum mkoa wa Mtwara atatunukiwa shahada ya uzamili katika rasimali watu. Tunaye mheshimiwa Fatuma Hassan Tufik mbunge wa bunge la Jamhuri ya Muungano nafikiri natoka visiwani yeye atatunukiwa shahada ya uzamili katika masomo ya jinsia gender studies Tunaye bwana Pasco Sherutete kamishina mwandamizi wa mawasiliano Tanapa yeye atatunukiwa shahada ya uzamili katika mawasiliano ya umma Tunaye Bwana Daudi Dennis mkuu wa Latra kanda ya Nyanda za Juu Kusini atatunukiwa shahada ya uzamili katika uongozi na biashara. Tunaye Kanali Martin Michael Kiruga kamishi na msaidizi mamlaka ya hifadhi ya Ngorongoro atatunukiwa shahada ya uzamili katika ushirikiano wa kimataifa na maendeleo. Tunaye pia Luteni Kanali Lucas Ilapa kutoka Jeshi la Wananchi Tanzania yeye atatunukiwa shahada ya sayansi katika Tehama. Na hakika wapo viongozi wengine wengi ambao sikuweza kuwapata majina yao lakini tunawapongeza wote kwa juhudi kubwa pamoja na wahitimu wengine walizofanya pamoja na nyadhifa zao walizokuwa nazo lakini wameweza kusoma hadi kuhitimu. Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi naomba pia uniruhusu kuwatambua wafanyakazi watano e, wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania ambao watatunukiwa shahada mbalimbali mbali za uzamivu. Hawa ni Frida Prosper, Nasir, Nasra Habibu Ali, Akinyi Lydia Sasi, Dionis Joseph Ndolage na Antifas Antipas do Gracious Masawe. Wote tunawapongeza sana. Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi. 
Kwa namna ya pekee napenda kumshukuru mkuu wa chuo chetu mheshimiwa Mizengo Kayanza Pita Pinda waziri mkuu mstaafu wa awamu ya nne kwa kuendelea kutusimamia vema na kuwa karibu sana na chuo chetu tangu alipoteuliwa kuwa mkuu wa chuo <coughs> amekuwa msaada mkubwa sana akitoa maelekezo na kutunganisha na washirika mbalimbali wa nje na ndani kwa hiyo kwa kweli amekuwa msaada mkubwa kwa maendeleo ya chuo pili napenda nimshukuru mwenyekiti wa baraza la chuo profesa Rekaza Mkandara kwa jitihada zake kusimamia utendaji wa chuo na hasa kuhakikisha kwamba elimu iliyotolewayo na chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania inaendelea kuwa ya kiwango cha juu kwa kuzingatia miongozo, kanuni na taratibu za tume ya vyuo vikuu ya Tanzania. Pamoja naye ninawashukuru sana wajumbe wote wa baraza ya chuo kwa kuwa na moyo wa kujitoa kukisimamia chuo chetu. Napenda pia ni shukuru Wizara ya Elimu, Sayansi na Teknolojia ambayo ndio Wizara ya Mama ambayo kwa kupitia vyombo vyake vya tume ya vyuo vikuu ya Tanzania na baraza linalosimamia elimu ya mafunzo NACTE wamekuwa msaada mkubwa katika kusimamia udhibiti wa ubora na kupitisha mitaala mbalimbali ya chuo chetu. Ninaahidi kuendelea kushirikiana na vyombo hivi kuhakikisha kuwa ubora wa elimu itolewayo na chuo kikuu huria inakubalika hapa nchini na kote duniani. Pia naomba nichukue nafasi kwa shukuru baadhi ya wakuu wa mikoa hususan ni mikoa ya Mwanza, Manyara, Simiu, Geita, Singida, Mara, Njombe, Morogoro, Tanga, Tabora, Lindi na Kigoma kwa jitihada zao wanazozifanya hasa wakati huu wanapokuwa wakisimamia utarishaji wa miundombinu katika mikoa yao miundombinu ambayo inatumika na chuo katika kufanya shughuli zake za kila siku mwisho napenda kuchukua nafasi kushukuru kwa dhati kabisa mgeni wetu rasmi rais mstaafu wa serikali ya mapinduzi ya awamu ya saba mheshimiwa dr Mohamed Ali Shein kwa utayari wako kuwa kuja kuwa mgeni rasmi katika mafali haya ya 39 hapa Kibaya Pwani. Tunakupongeza kwa kazi nzuri ulioifanya kuiongoza serikali ya mapinduzi hadi kukabidhi madaraka kwa Dr. Hussein Mwinyi, rais mpya wa, wa Zanzibar katika hali ya utulivu na amani. Ongera sana. Tunakutakia kila la heri na, na baraka katika kipindi hiki cha kustaafu. Tunaamini kwamba kwa kwa ingawa umestaafu hujachoka bado una nguvu. Na hivyo usisite kukubali mialiko yetu mara kwa mara tutakapohitaji huduma yako. Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi nachukua nafasi hii kuwapongeza sana tena wahitimu wote wa mafali ya leo. Ninaamini ya kuwa sasa mko tayari kuendelea kuyatumia maarifa ma mliyoyapata kujenga Tanzania ili ifikie uchumi wa kati wa juu na kwa mara nyingine ninawakaribisheni tena mrudi kusomea shahada za juu zaidi kwa maendeleo yenu binafsi na ya taifa lenu Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi baada ya kuongea hayo naomba nimkaribishe mwenyekiti wa baraza la chuo apate kwa salimia na kutoa na saa zake maana wakati naanza alikuwa hajafika lakini naamini ameshafika na naamini na kabisa kwamba na jambo zito ambalo nataka kuongea siku ya leo. Jamani tumpigie makofi ya kutosha profesa Bisanda kwa kazi nzuri hiyo ya utambulisho. Karibu sana mwenyekiti. Karibu. Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi rais mstaafu wa awamu ya saba ya serikali ya mvinduzi ya Zanzibar mheshimiwa dr Ali Mohamed Shein mkuu wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania mheshimiwa Mizengo Kayanza Pita Pinda makamu mkuu wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania profesa Elifas Bisanda mheshimiwa mkuu wa mkuu wa mkoa wa Pwani Waheshimiwa wakuu wa mikoa mliopo hapa leo. Waheshimiwa wakuu wa wilaya na wabunge mlio hapa leo. Viongozi wote wa serikali na mashirika ya umma mliopo hapa. 
kwa jumla wa baraza na seneti wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania viongozi wote wa vyo vya elimu ya juu vya serikali na binafsi mliopo hapa manaibu makamu wakuu wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania wanajumuia chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania wahitimu wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania mwaka 2020 mliopo hapa wawakilishi wa vyombo vya usalama na habari mliopo hapa wananchi wote mliofika hapa leo wageni waalikwa mabibi na mabwana habarini za asubuhi kwa niaba ya baraza la chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania ninayo heshima kukaribisha mgeni rasmi mheshimiwa rais mstaafu wa serikali ya mapinduzi ya Zanzibar mheshimiwa dr Ali Mohamed Shein kwenye mafali haya ya 39 ya chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania Mimifarijika sana kukupata wewe leo hapa kwa maana tunaelewa kuwa una ratiba nyingi sana pamoja na kwamba umestaafu rais lakini kwa kutambua umuhimu wa chuo chetu na kwa kuheshimu mchango wake kwenye maendeleo ya nchi yetu umetafuta nafasi ya kushiriki nasi kwenye mafali haya karibu sana mheshimiwa rais kwa kuwa chuo chetu kinaendesha kwa mfumo wa elimu huria na masafa ni imani yetu kama inavyoonyeshwa na takwimu mbalimbali mbali za chuo kuwa tuna wanafunzi wa kutosha katika vyuo vituo vyetu vyote vya uratibu ya Tanzania bara Unguja na Pemba kwa mantiki hiyo tunakuomba kwa heshima na taadhima tele utufikishie salamu zetu za pongezi kwa mheshimiwa rais wa serikali ya mapinduzi ya Zanzibar awamu ya nane dr uh, uh, dr Mwinyi kwa kuchaguliwa kwake kuwa kiongozi wetu huko visiwani kwa kipindi cha miaka mitano ijayo. Hii inatupa uhakika kwa serikali ya mapinduzi ya Zanzibar itaendelea kuthamini mchango mkubwa wa chuo chetu kwenye maendeleo ya wananchi wa visiwani na uimarishaji wa muungano wetu adhimu. Napenda pia nimpongeze waziri wa elimu na mafunzo ya mali Mheshimiwa Simai Mohamed Said kwa kuteuliwa kwenye wadhifa huo. Ni imani yetu pia Mheshimiwa ataendelea kukipa chuo, chuo ushirikiano ili chuo kiendelee kutekeleza mipango yake kwa ufanisi na uburivu na utulivu Mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo kama unavyojua wajibu wa baraza la chuo ni kusimamia uh, utungaji sera za kuendesha chuo na kusimamia pia uh, utekelezaji uh, wa sera hizo katika kuhakikisha kwamba chuo chetu kinaendeshwa kwa ufanisi na mafanikio makubwa. Nina furaha kusema kwamba mimi na, wenze, na wenzangu tumeweza kufanya kazi hiyo vizuri kwa kipindi cha mwaka uliopita pamoja na kwamba tulikuwa na changamoto kubwa ya tatizo la COVID-19. Tumepitisha uh, sera mbalimbali mpya, imeundwa kamati maalum ya kuangalia masuala ya majengo na miundombinu ya chuo ili kuzidisha na kuzidi kusimamia kwa ukarimu zaidi eh, majengo yote na miundombinu inayojengwa hapo chuoni lakini pia tumesimamia vizuri utumiaji wa rasilimali rasilimali fedha watu na nyingine zote zilizopo na kwa furaha ni kwamba kwa mara nyingine tena chuo kimepata hati safi katika ukaguzi wa CAG Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi chuo kinaendeleza mahusiano yenye tija na taasisi nyingine za elimu ya juu za ndani na nje ya nchi wadau wa elimu na nyanja nyingine zote bado wanaendelea kutusaidia na tunashirikiana nao kwa uzuri kwa kushirikiano nao chuo chetu kitaendelea kuweka msisitizo kwenye masuala ya elimu tafiti na huduma kwa jamii kwa ajili ya maslahi ya maendeleo ya Tanzania na katika ushirikiano wa kimataifa chuo kitaendelea kushirikiana na wale wenye malengo na hamu ya pamoja inayoendana nasi kupitia elimu ya juu ili iliyo bora kwa njia huria masafa na, na ana kwa ana yani blended mode of teaching and learning Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi pamoja na mafanikio makubwa chuo chetu kina changamoto kubwa uh, nyingi tu ambazo nyingine tayari ameshazi zinainisha makamu mkuu wa chuo nitaje tu mbili moja e, ukweli kuwa nchi yetu haina wataalamu wazoefu wengi wenye shahada za uzamivu yani degrees za PhD na to, post doctoral certificates katika soko huria 
hivyo juhudi za kuongeza fedha za kusomesha walimu pamoja na udahili katika shahada za udaktari wa falsafa na nibudi ziongezwe katika vyo, vyote vyenye sifa ya kutoa shahada hizo ili kuharakisha malengo ya kitaifa na kimataifa kwa maendeleo endelevu Tanzania na ulimwengu na pili watu wengi nchini hawajatambua fursa na ubora wa kusoma kwa njia ya masafa na huria hii ina kilazimu chuo kujitangaza mara kwa mara katika vyombo mbalimbali na wakati mwingine kupata vikwazo kutokana na viongozi wengi waandamizi kutoelewa vema mfumo wa elimu huria na masafa tutaendelea kuelimisha kuelimisha umma ili wananchi wa Tanzania wachangamke fursa zilizopo za kujiendeleza kupitia chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi kwa kumalizia ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kukushukuru tena Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi kwa utayari wako wa kushirikiana nasi na pia ni mshukuru mkuu wa chuo chetu pia Mheshimiwa uh, uh, Mizengo Kayanza Pita Pinda kwa ushirikiano wako mzuri kwa utayari wake wa kuwa kuweza kusaidia chuo pale popote ambapo msaada unatakiwa na kutoa miongozo na maelekezo ambayo yote yameongeza ufanisi katika utendaji wa chuo chetu. Nichukue fursa hii pia kumshukuru sana makamu mkuu wa chuo kikuru Uria Profesa Bisanda na timu yake manaibu eh, naibu eh, vice, eh, deputy vice chancellors na watendaji wote wa chuo kikuu Uria kwa utendaji wa, wao mzuri kwa uh, uwajibikaji mzuri kwa utayari wao wa kutekeleza maelekezo na maamuzi yanayotolewa na, na baraza la chuo na kuwa kwa hiyo kuongeza ufanisi na u, u, mafanikio ya chuo chetu nitumie fursa hii pia kuwatakia mafanikio wa timu wote wanaotunukiwa vieti stashahada na shahada mbalimbali leo ni imani yangu kwamba elimu na ujuzi mlio upata tayari mnautumia na sasa mtautumia zaidi kwenye kazi zenu ili ku, tuifanya azma ya serikali ya awamu ya tano ya kujenga Tanzania ya viwanda iwe ya kweli. Asante sana kwa kunisikiliza na karibuni sana. Asante sana mwenyekiti wetu wa baraza. Jamani tumpigie makofi ya kutosha. Mwenyekiti kwa hotuba nzuri. Karibu profesa Bisanda uendelee na utaratibu. Sante sana mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi makamu kwa chuo itifati imezingatiwa nafasi naomba ni mkaribishe injinia Martin Ntemo ambaye ni mkuu wa wilaya ya Kibaha ambaye anawakilisha mkuu wa mkoa aweze kuwasalimia karibu sana Mheshimiwa Uh, Ali, Dr. Ali Mohamed Chain, Rais Mstaafu wa Zanzibar, Mkuu wa Chuo, Mheshimiwa Mizengo Kayanza Pita Pinda, Waziri Mkuu Mstaafu, Makamu Mkuu wa Chuo, Mwenyekiti wa Baraza la Chuo, Viongozi mbalimbali wa serikali mliopo jukwaa kuu na miongoni mwa wahitimu. Niliyesimama mbele yenu ni injinia Martin Ntemo, mimi ni mkuu wa wilaya ya Kibaha lakini nimesimama hapa kumwakilisha mkuu wa mkoa wa, wa Pwani ambaye tulikuwa tuwe naye lakini amepata udhuru. Jukumu langu kubwa hapa ni kuwakaribisha wageni wote katika mkoa wa Pwani kwa wale mnaotoka mbali lakini hususan wilaya ya Kibaha katika eneo hili la Bungo. Shughuli kubwa iliyo mbele yetu ni mahafali ya 39 ya chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania. Tukiwa ambalo wote tunalisubiri kwa hamu kuona wahitimu hawa wakitunukiwa vieti vyao. Hivyo bila kupoteza muda niwakaribishe sana wote na nirejeshe nirejeshe jukumu hili ili tuweze kuendelea na ratiba nyingine kabla ya kumkaribisha mgeni rasmi. Nasema karibuni sana Kibaha, karibuni sana Pwani. Asanteni sana kwa kusikiliza. Asante sana. Tupe makofi ya kutosha mwenyeji wetu huyo. Ametukaribisha na kutuhakikishia kwamba tuko salama hapa mkoa wa Pwani. Asante sana mheshimiwa mkuu wa wilaya. Tunashukuru sana.
Asante sana kutukumbusha kwamba tuko mkoa Pwani na tuko wilaya Kibaha. E, sasa ni wakati ambao wote tumeusubiri kwa hamu sana kumsikia mgeni rasmi akiongea nasi akiongea akiongea na hadhara hii e, mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi Dr. Muhammad Ali Shen tunachukua fursa hii kukualika na kukukaribisha uweze kuongea na muhadhara huu kwa mafali ya 39 ya chuo kikuu ya cha Tanzania karibu sana Jamani tusimame tusimame tumpigie makofi kiongozi wetu Rais Shein Oye Bado 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 Rais Shein Oye Santeni sana naomba tuketi Mheshimiwa Mizengo Kayanza Peter Pinda Waziri Mkuu Mstaafu wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania na Mkuu wa Chuo Kikuu Huria cha Tanzania Profesa Rekaza Mkandala Mwenyekiti wa Baraza la Chuo Kikuu Huria cha Tanzania Profesa Elifas Tozo Bisanda Makamu wa Mkuu wa Chuo Kikuu Huria cha Tanzania Mwisho mhandisi Martin Temo mkuu wa wilaya ya Kibaha kwa niaba ya mkuu wa mkoa wa Pwani ambaye ni pia mwenyekiti wa kamati ya ushauri ya mkoa huu wa Pwani Mheshimiwa wa wilaya mhudhuria na viongozi wengine Mheshimiwa bunge mlohudhuria hapa katika sherehe ya shughuli muhimu viongozi mbalimbali wa serikali ya mashirika ya umma mliopo hapa Manaibu makamu wa kuu wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania wajumba baraza la senate ya chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania viongozi mbalimbali wa elimu ya juu mliopo hapa wageni wa aliko wenzangu nyote mlohudhuria wahitimu na wanajumuia wote wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania mabibi na mabwana napenda nianze kwa kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu mwingi wa rehma kwa kutujalia uhai na uzima na kutuwezesha kufika hapa leo kwa madhumuni ya kuja kusherekea shughuli yetu hii ya dhimu vile vile natoa shukrani zangu za dhati na za kipekee kwa mheshimiwa Mizengo Kayanda Peter Pinda ambaye pia ni waziri mkuu mstaafu wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania na akiwa ndiye mkuu wa chuo hiki chuo kikuu ya cha Tanzania kwa kunialika ni mgeni rasmi katika hafla hii muhimu. Na mshukuru sana mheshimiwa Mizengo Kayanza Peter Pinda mwalika wake huo. Kwani anakumbuka kipindi kile tukiwa pamoja serikalini katika Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania mengi wa makamu wa rais na ya waziri mkuu wetu jinsi tulivyoshirikiana. Mheshimiwa Mizengo Kayanza Peter Pinda nakushukuru sana. Kadhalika na kushukuruni kwa dhati wageni wenzangu wote mliowalikwa mkeo viongozi wa taasisi mbalimbali kwa kuja kujumuika pamoja nasi katika shughuli ya leo. Vile vile natoa shukrani zangu kwa jamii yote ya wanachuo nyote mliopo hapa leo. Okemo wa jumbe baraza la chuo, manaibu wakuu wa chuo, wakuu wa vitivo mbalimbali, wahadhiri, wakitimu wapya na wale wahitimu wa Kongwe na wanafunzi mnaendelea masomo yenu kwa kuwepo kwenu hapa katika kuyasherekea matunda ya mafanikio ya chuo chetu yanayoendelea. Kwa hakika uongozi wa chuo unastahili pongezi kubwa na zadhati sana. Kwa ni maandalizi ya mafali haya yamesimamiwa na yamandaliwa vizuri. Jambo ambalo limepelekea mafali haya kufana sana leo. Hongereni sana. Mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo na wageni walikwa leo tupo hapa katika kijiji cha Bungo hapa kibaha ule kwetu uzanzi babungo ni tunda zuri sana juisi <laughs> yake unaipenda hata wazungu wakija kule Zanzibar halimei sehemu nyingine 
Sasa bungu wa kibaha mie sijui imekuja leo kwa mara ya kwanza. Kwa hiyo sina tafsiri ya bungu la kibaha. Lakini nafahamu ni eneo la kiwanja hichi cha chuo kikuu huria ambapo maadhimisho haya ya mafaili ya 39 chuo hiki yanafanyika. Kwangu mimi fursa ya kualikwa kwa mgeni rasmi katika mafaili ya chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania si mara ya kwanza kualikwa. Niliwahi kualikwa kwa mgeni rasmi katika mafaili ya mwaka 2019 lakini kwa bahati mbaya sikuweza kuhudhuria kutokana na majukumu mengine ya kitaifa hata hivyo wakati huo niliwakilishwa ni aliyekuwa makamu wangu wa pili wa rais wa Zanzibar mheshimiwa balozi Sefa Alidi kwa hakika shughuli za aina hii kwangu mimi singeni sana kwa sababu na uzoefu kidogo kutokana na kuwa mkuu wa chokifu cha taifa ya Zanzibar yani Suza katika kipindi chote cha miaka kumi nilichokuwa rais wa Zanzibar na mwenyekiti wa baraza la mapinduzi. Kadhalika sehemu gani wa shughuli za chuki kuu huria cha Tanzania. Kwa sababu wakati nilipokuwa rais wa Zanzibar nilishirikiana na baadhi ya wenzangu katika kutatua matatizo yaliyokuwa yakijitokeza katika shughuli ya chuki kuu hiki kwa upande wa Zanzibar. Mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo na wageni walikwa Nimefurahishwa na wataratibu wenu wa kuandaa sherehe za mahafali katika vyo vinu mbalimbali huko nchini. Na nakumbuka kwamba mara kadhaa mliwahi kufanya mahafali haya katika kituo chenu kilichopo Zanzibar cha Beit Ras ambapo wakuu wa mikoa na waziri wa elimu na mafunzo ya mali waliweza kuwa wageni rasmi. Natumai hapa na shaka mnaandaa matarisho mengine kwa mara nyingine mji Zanzibar kwa ajili ya sherehe za mafali zitakazofuata nami nakupongezeni sana pamoja na viongozi wengine wa Zanzibar tunakwambieni Zanzibar ni kwenu Zanzibar ni sehemu ya jamhuri ya muungano wa Tanzania kwa hakika itapendeza mkiendelea kuandaa mafali katika campus za Zanzibar vile vile katika historia ya mafali haya nafahamu kwamba viongozi mbalimbali mbali wa kitaifa wamewahi kushiriki wakiwa wageni rasmi bila ya shaka kutokana na kushiriki kwa huko mmeweza kupata maoni mbalimbali ya kitaalamu na yenye busara katika ukiendeleza choo chenu hiki nami nikiwa wageni rasmi mara hii katika mafali haya ya 1939 naona fakari kubwa sana kwa kuwemo kwenye orodha ya viongozi hao asante sana kwa unikaribisha na menipa heshima kubwa sana kufanyika kwa mafali haya ni matokeo ya kazi nzuri ya kitaalamu na kitaaluma iliyofanyika katika chuo kikuu hiki maarufu katika ukanda huu wa Afrika Mashariki kinachopanda hadhi siku hadi siku kwenu nyote wa hitimu mbalimbali ndio mbele yangu na jumuiya yote ya chuo na kupongezeni kwa kazi nzuri jitihada ambazo baraza na utawala wa chuo wa hadhiri na wanafunzi na wahitimu wengine mlizionyesha zinaendelea kuzaa matunda bora zaidi tunayoshughulikia na tunayoshuhudia hapa leo ni dhahiri kwamba mafanikio yenu haya nikataka kutimiza azma ya serikali ya tano ya kulijenga taifa lenye wasomi wale bobea wanaweza kuhimili ushindani wa kimataifa Mheshimiwa Mkuu wa Chuo na wageni walikwa Chuo kikuu huria kwa jumla ni taasisi inayotoa elimu ya masafa yani distance education ambayo ni mbinu mbadala katika utoaji wa elimu kwa njia ya kujumuika pamoja chuo ni yani residential learning historia ya elimu ya masafa ulimwenguni inaaminika kwamba ilianza tangu karne ya 19 katika miaka 1840 huko Ulaya ambapo Mwingereza aliyejulikana kwa jina la Sir Isaac Putman alikuwa akifundisha somo la hatim kato yani shorthand kwa njia ya posta alikuwa akiwatumia masomo na wanafunzi wake kwa kadi za posta na wao wakizirejesha kazi zao hizo kwake yeye kwa njia hiyo hiyo ya posta miaka kumi baadaye 
chuo kikuu cha London Uingereza kikaanza kutoa masomo katika ngazi ya shahada kwa utaratibu wa elimu ya masafa. Miaka 30 baadaye chuo kikuu cha Pennsylvania nchini Marekani kilianza na utaratibu wa kutoa elimu ya masafa kupitia vitabu vya kiada badala ya somo moja moja. Maendeleo ya teknolojia yalianza kubadilisha mtindo wa kufundishaji wa kufundisha kupitia elimu ya masafa ambapo mifumo ya redio na televisheni ilianza kutumika katika uwasilishaji wa masomo baina ya wanafunzi na walimu wao. Katika vyuo mbalimbali vilivyoanzishwa kwa mfumo huu wa elimu ya masafa miongoni mwa vyuo hivyo bara la Afrika ni chuo kikuu cha Afrika ya Kusini ambacho kimekuwa kihitajika miongoni mwa vyuo vikubwa vinavyoendesha elimu ya masafa katika teknolojia ya kisasa na kuwa na uunifu wa hali ya juu hapa kwetu Tanzania chuo hichi kilianzishwa kwa sheria ya bunge namba 17 ya mwaka 1992 na kuanza kupokea wanafunzi wanafunzi mwaka 1994 lengo maalum la kuanzishwa kwa chuo hiki ni kuongeza wigo wa utoaji wa elimu kwa Tanzania kwa njia mbalimbali mbadala ambazo wananchi wengi wangeweza kuzimudu ni jambo la fakhari kuona kwamba chuo inachoendesha taaluma katika mfumo huu wa elimu ya masafa hapa kwetu ni hiki tu na ukanda wetu huu katika ukanda wa Afrika Mashariki kwa mnasaba huu hatunabudi tuuthamini mtazamo mpana wa muasisi wa taifa letu baba wa taifa hayati mwalimu Julius Kamarage Nyerere wakati kilipoanzisha chuo hiki ambapo alitamka kwamba angependa kuona na hapa na nukuu taasisi inawezesha watu wazima wengi zaidi waweze kuendelea na elimu ya juu pasipo kuacha kazi zao mwisho wa kunukuu Mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo na wageni waliko wenzangu kwa hakika chuo kikuu huri cha Tanzania kimetekeleza wazo hilo la mwalimu Nyerere kwa ufanisi mkubwa kwa sababu kilianza na na wahitimu wa nane hapo mwaka 1999 na leo kama taarifa azotoa makamu mkuu wa chuo kikuu hichi maelfu ya wahitimu wameelimika kutoka katika chuo hiki miongozi mwa miongoni mwao kama viongozi waliwahi kushika nyadhifa za juu nchini wetu kwa mujibu wa takwimu zilizopokelewa hadi sasa chuo kimeshadakili wanafunzi zaidi ya laki moja na nusu na miongoni mwao takriban 1040 tayari wameshahitimu na kupongezeni sana kwa mafanikio makubwa haya hongereni sana Mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo na wageni walikwa kusoma kunahitaji nia na ithbati ya moyo ni lazima anayeamua kusoma hasa katika ngazi ya elimu ya juu basi awe amejidhati kukabiliana na changamoto ambazo haziepukiki kwa mantiki hii mtu anayosoma katika umri wa tuuzima anahitaji uvumilivu na ustahamilivu mkubwa hasa ikiwa tayari ana familia yake. Kwa hivyo kuwepo kwa chuo hiki ni faraja kubwa sana kwa wananchi kwa sababu kimekuwa ni mkombozi kwa wale ambao hawawezi kufuatilia na kupata fursa za elimu kukaa darasani. Katika kuelezea umuhimu wa chuo hiki hayati mwalimu Nyerere vile vile alisema na nukuu. Kwa nchi maskini kama Tanzania hakuna taasisi nyingine ya elimu ya juu inaweza kuwa na msaada zaidi kwa watu wetu. Ukweli wa kauli hii ya baba taifa unadhihirika kwa sababu chuo hiki kimeweza kuwasaidia wanafunzi wengi wa kila hali hadi kukamilisha masomo yao. Hata kule Zanzibar kuna wanafunzi wengi tu waliojiunga na chuo kikuu hiki na kumaliza masomo yao katika shahada ya uzamili na uzamivu. Kwa kweli ni chuo kinachostahili pongezi nyingi sana kutoka kwetu. Na lazima tuukariri ule msemo wa henga unaosema mwenye macho hambiwi tazama sote ni mashahidi yui hatua kubwa za maendeleo zilizoshafikiwa na chuo hiki nimeelezwa kwamba 
hivi sasa chuo hiki kinakwenda digitali zaidi kinatumia njia za electronic katika uendeshaji wa masomo yake kuna ongezeko kubwa la idadi ya kozi zinatolewa na chuo sambamba na ongezeko la wanafunzi wa Tanzania na wa ya Tanzania wanajiunga na chuo hiki kwa kila mwaka natambua kwamba chuo kimepanua ugu wake wa huduma zake kwa kuanzisha mifumo mbalimbali mbali ya uendeshaji kufundisha kuendesha mitihani kwa lengo la kuimarisha huduma hizo haya yote ni miongoni mwa maendeleo ya ukuaji wa taasisi mbalimbali za chuo hizi chuo hichi hapa Tanzania pamoja na maendeleo haya mazuri sina budi ni uhimizi uongozi wa chuo uendelee kuimarisha miundombinu hasa ya majengo naelewa kwamba miongoni mwa vipaumbele vya serikali ya mwaka tano inaongozwa mheshimiwa dr John Pombe Joseph Magufuli ni kuimarisha miundombinu ya elimu ya juu na masuala ya watumishi wa sekta hiyo kwa hivyo ni muhimu chuo hiki nacho kiwe msaada wa mbele atakujiwekea mazingira mazuri ya kutoa elimu kwa sababu mazingira mazuri ya mahali pa kazi au taaluma ni miongoni mwa mambo yanayohamasisha ufanisi kwa mafanikio makubwa sana. Mwisho mkuu wa chuo na wageni walikwa. Mafali haya yanafanyika wakati ambapo taifa letu limemaliza zoezi kubwa na muhimu la uchaguzi mkuu nchini mwetu. Uchaguzi ambao umeirejesha kwa mara ya pili. Serikali inaongoza mheshimiwa Dr. John Pombe Joseph Magufuli ambaye anaongoza Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania na kwa Zanzibar Dr. Hussein Ali Mwini amekuwa rais mpya wa Zanzibar na mwenyekiti wa Zanzibar Mapinduzi tunapaswa tumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kuwapa wagombea wetu hawa ushindi mkubwa uliowapelekea kushika hatamu za serikali zetu mbili viongozi wetu hao wamepania katika kuendeleza mafanikio ili kushafikia nchini mwetu na kuongeza mafanikio kubwa zaidi katika kila sekta ya uchumi huduma za jamii na kadhalika tunajivunia mafanikio tuliyopata kwa upande wa uchumi wa nchi yetu kufikia uchumi wakati hata hivyo bado tunahitaji kuongeza nguvu zaidi ili uchumi wetu uendelee kupaa na kufikia hadhi ya juu na hilo litawezekana iwapo tutazitumia rasilimali zetu tuzokuwa nazo kwa utaalamu weledi na umakini mkubwa kwa hivyo kwa wahitimu ambao si muda mrefu mtatunikiwa shahada zenu muelewe kwamba wananchi wa Tanzania wanahitaji maendeleo ambayo nyenzo zake za kuyafikia maendeleo hayo pamoja na elimu ambayo tayari mnayo tukumbuke ule usemi maarufu wa yate Nelson Mandela alikuwa rais wa Afrika ya Kusini na usemi huu unaonukuu education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world ambao kwa tafsiri ya Kiswahili ni kwamba elimu ndio silaha muhimu kupita zote ambayo unaweza kuitumia kuleta mageuzi duniani nchi yetu ni sehemu ya dunia kwa hivyo tukiweza kuibadilisha nchi yetu ikapanda ngazi ya juu zaidi za mafanikio ya kiuchumi na kijamii elimu tunayoipata katika vyo vyetu itakuwa ni silaha inayotukomboa sana kwa wahitimu wote ambao ilipunde mkuu wetu wa chuo atawatunuku vyeti sita shahada na shahada mbalimbali kwenye mafali haya na nakupeni hongera zangu kabla hamjatunikiwa hongereni sana lakini nataka nikukumbusheni kwa vyeti mtakavyotunikiwa ni tunzo halali ya utambulishi mafanikio yenu kutokana jitihada mtazionesha katika masomo yenu hapa chuoni lakini msisahau kwamba baada ya kumaliza chuo maisha bado yanaendelea shangwa wa chuo na wageni walikwa nataka wahitimu waelewe kwamba chuo chochote duniani hakiwezi kumpa mwanafunzi majibu ya kutosha katika kukabiliana na maisha yake mmekuja kusoma katika chuo kikuu hichi huria cha Tanzania 
kutafuta tu baadhi ya majibu ambayo ambapo wahadhiri wamekusaidieni katika utafitaji wa majibu hayo elimu mlioipata itakuwa na maana kubwa sana kwenu kwa chuo hichi na taifa letu kwa jumla iwapo mtaendelea na utafitaji wenu pamoja na kubuni na kuibua mambo yatakaleta manufaa kwenu kwa jamii yetu na kwa taifa letu kwa jumla kadhalika mnapaswa mjiulize ni wenyewe maswali kadhaa katika mazingira mazingira yanayozunguka jamii yetu ili muibuke na majibu ya namna ya kuimarisha yale yaliyokuwa mazuri na jinsi gani ya kurekebisha yale yenye changamoto hayo ndiyo matarajio ya jamii kwenu na ndio faida ya kupata elimu wahitimu ambao ni wajiriwa ni wajiriwa serikali au taasisi za watu binafsi mtakaporejea kazi ni kwenu mtapaswa muweke mbele masa ya taifa kwa kuzunga mkono jitihada zinazochukuliwa na viongozi wetu mheshimiwa dr john pombe jesus makfuli rais wa jamhuri ya muungano wa tanzania mheshimiwa dr hussein ali mwinyi rais wa zanzibar na mwenyekiti wa baraza la kata kupambana na rushwa ubadhirifu wa mali ya umma na kukosa wajibu kali katika kutekeleza majukumu yenu Mheshimiwa Mkuu wa Chuo na wageni walikwa Nimepata taarifa kama katika mipango yenu ya kuimarisha zaidi elimu katika chuo chenu hichi mewasilisha mapendekezo yenu kwa wizara ya elimu sayansi na teknolojia yanayolenga uanzishaji maabara za sayansi kwenye kada saba za chuo hiki kuu hichi huria lengo lenu nimeambiwa ni kuimarisha ufundishaji wa masomo ya sayansi ambao ni muhimu kwenye ujenzi wa nchi yetu kiuchumi na viwanda hili ni jambo jema sana ambalo kutokana na dhamira ya serikali za mbili ya kuimarisha uchumi wa viwanda suala la kuwajengea wasomi wetu weledi na umahiri kwenye taalimu mbalimbali mbali za sayansi na teknolojia inaeleweka vyema sana ni lazima chuo hiki kijiongezee uwezo katika fani za sayansi na teknolojia ili kiweze kukuza mchango wake katika pato la taifa na kuendeleza kasi ya uchumi nchini mwetu katika karne hii na zijazo taasisi za elimu ya juu zinapaswa zibadilike kimtazamo na mwelekeo kwa upande mwingine tunapaswa tuache kufanya kazi kwa mazoea wazungu wanasema business as usual na tuingize ubunifu hali ya juu katika shughuli zetu ili tuweze kuingia katika ushindani wa kitaalamu jukwaa la uchumi ulimwenguni yani world economic forum imeweka kipimo ambacho kinatathmini uwezo wa ushindani wa kila nchi duniani katika kufikia uchumi endelevu kwa manufa ya nchi na watu wake kipimo hicho kinajulikana kwa lugha ya Kiingereza kama Global Competitiveness Index ya GCE GCI nacho kina mihimili 12 inayotumika kama viashiria vya kupima utekelezaji wa kila nchi miongoni mwa mihimili hiyo ni mihimili mitano ambapo una ambapo unahusu ubora wa elimu ya juu na mafunzo bora katika nchi na mihimili wa mwisho ya 12 unahusu swala la ubunifu hii ina maana kwamba katika utendaji wetu kwa upande wa taaluma ni lazima tuweze kutoa elimu ya juu ili ubora pamoja na ubora wa mafunzo yenyewe kadhalika tunapaswa tubuni mbinu na mikakati mbalimbali katika nyanja tofauti za utendaji wetu kwa mantiki hii hiyo vitu vikuu vinalazimika kuzimarisha program zao ili ziendane na wakati tulio nao sasa na vile vile ziweze kukidhi mahitaji ya hapo baadaye Mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo na wageni walikwa katu hatuwezi kumudu ushindani katika tasnia ya elimu na mafunzo iwapo tutabaki na mambo yale yale ya kawaida tu wakati wenzetu duniani wakisonga mbele kwa kasi kubwa sana tutakapoweza kuyafanya kazi mimi hiyo miwili iliyomo katika kipimo cha ushindani cha ulimwengu basi hapa na shaka hata ile changamoto ya udahili mdogo tutaiepuka kwa sababu bora na mahususi kwa program na mafunzo tutakayotoa yetawafutia wanafunzi wetu wengi zaidi 
ili waje wajiunge na chuo hiki kwa kutia mkazo wa maelezo haya nataka ni nukuu semi moja wa mfanya biashara mkubwa wa kimarikani anayejulikana kwa jina la Milton Hashe unaosema nataka ni nukuu give them quality that is the best kind of advertising mwisho kunuko tafsiri ya Kiswahili ya usemi huu ni kwamba wape watu kitu chenye ubora na hiyo ndio maana nzuri zaidi ya kujitangaza kadhalika wahenga wanasema chema cha jiuza kibaya cha jitembeza kadhalika ubunifu wenye tija ambao unaweza kuongeza thamani na taaluma mnaojitoa na kuipandisha hadhi chuo kikuu hiki kutotokana na jinsi mtakayojishughulisha kwenye kazi za utafiti katika nyanja mbalimbali za taaluma tafiti mtakazozifanya zitakuwa na maana kubwa sana hasa iwapo mtashughulikia na yale maeneo yanayogusa vipaumbele katika utekelezaji mipango yetu ya maendeleo na pale tusipolipa mkazo swala hili ya kufanya utafiti katika vyo vyetu vya elimu ya juu tunaweza kujikuta tuko nyuma kitaaluma na kitaalamu tukumbuke wale usemi usemao he who does not do research has nothing to teach yani asifanye utafiti basi hana kitu cha kufundisha kwa hivyo na kuhimizeni uhadhiri na wataalamu mbalimbali wa chuo kikuu hiki chuo cha Tanzania mjikite ile kufanya utafiti pamoja na kuwashirikisha na muwafundishe wanafunzi wenu katika ngazi za aina hiyo na miyatumie matokeo ya tafiti zenu katika kuimarisha maendeleo ya nchi yetu napaswa muelewe kwamba wakufunzi wasiofanya tafiti na kuandika machapisho yao ya kitaalamu na kitaaluma kwa sababu hawawezi kupanda daraja za juu watapanda daraja za juu na kupata CV zenye bora zaidi ili watafanya utafiti na kuchapisha matokeo ya tafiti zao hata wale wanaopenda upate jina la uprofesa hawatolipata iwapo hatajapisha tafiti zao hili ninafahamu na nijua kwa ni jambo la kawaida kwenye vyo vikuu naamini kwamba kutokana na hatua ambazo chuo hiki kimefikia wataalamu wa kufanya kazi hizo wapo wa kutosha na wengine watajiunga hivi karibuni vile vile usimamizi mzuri wa kazi ya wanafunzi ikao mitihani wameshajua huduma katika ufuatiliaji wa wanafunzi wenu yani supervision bila kuwakatisha tamaa ni miongoni mwa mambo itakatuwezesha watoe wa hitimu bora zaidi wa chuo hichi hapo na ambapo nao watasaidia kukitangaza kujengia sifa na heshima chuo hiki mfumo wa kutoa elimu kwa njia ya masafa umedhihirika kuwa ni mfumo unasaidia sana kutatua tatizo la mawasiliano katika hali tofauti za maisha. Tuangalie wakati kama huu ambapo sehemu kadhaa duniani bado zimo katika mapambano ya janga la maradhi ya COVID-19. Shughuli za kitaaluma na nyingine za maendeleo. Kipindi kilichopita zilizalazimika kusimama kwa muda usiojulikana lakini mikutano imeweza kufanyika kupitia television maalum zinazounganishwa yani video conferencing na wajumbe wa vikao hivyo wameweza kuwasiliana wakiwa katika nchi zao wafanya biashara nao wakiwasiliana na wateja wao na wafanya wafanya kazi wengine walifunga ofisi zao majumbani na kuwasiliana kikazi na wafanya kazi wenzao na wakuwa wengine waliofanya kazi aina moja baadhi ya vyuo na shule kadhaa zimeendelea kuendesha masomo yao kwa utaratibu huu wa masafa kwa kutumia simu za mkononi kwa njia Skype na WhatsApp ingawa hapo awali hazikuwa katika mfumo huu wa leo hii inaonesha kwamba mfumo huu hauchakai na unakwenda sambamba na teknolojia ya kisasa kwa hivyo una wajibu wa kujijengea zaidi kimataifa kwa kutoka nje na kujifunza zaidi katika vyuo kama hivi vyetu. 
ili muone wenzenu mnafanya kazi na mshirikiano nao anza sheni ushirikiano na vyo vingine vinafanya vizuri nchi za nje na mimi naamini uzoefu huo mnavyo kwani mianza kushirikiana navyo vingi katika nafasi zenu haya ndio mambo ambayo yatakipandisha hadhi chuoishi zaidi huko tendako mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo na wageni walikwa jambo jingine ambalo nataka nisisitize kwa upande wa taaluma ni kujengia wanafunzi wenu mfumo ambao wakimaliza masomo yao wataweza kuyafikia matarajio yao na matarajio ya ajiri wao katika kazi wanazofanya na wale ambao hawana ajira wataweza kujiajiri wenyewe ni jambo la busara kufanya mazungumzo na kila baada ya muda na sekta nyingine zenye fursa za ajira ili muelewe mahitaji yao na mzipange kozi zenu kwa mujibu mahitaji hayo hili ni jambo jingine ambalo linaweza kuwavutia wanafunzi kuja kujifunza katika chuo hiki. Naelewa kwamba kwenye mafanikio hapa kosi changamoto na changamoto ni ishara na ina moja ya maendeleo. Kwa hivyo ni wajibu wa chuo kuangalia zile changamoto ambazo zimo katika uwezo wenu mstafute njia ya kuzichachua, ya kuzitatua. Ili zibadilike kutoka kwa changamoto na zile sehemu ya maendeleo. Kwa zile ambazo zitahitaji msaada wa serikali kuu basi mtazoe usilishe huko serikali kuu kwa utaratibu uliopo. Naamini kwamba serikali iliyoko madarakani anayoongoza mheshimiwa Dr. John Pombe Joseph Magufuli ni serikali makini na kama haitaweza kuziacha changamoto hizo zinazoashiria kudumaza maendeleo ya nchi yetu na taifa ziendelee kuwepo. Mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo na wageni walikuwa wenzangu kama nilivyosema hapo mwanzo katika hotuba yangu hii kwamba chimbuko la chuo hiki linatokana na fikra za hayati mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere baba wa taifa la, 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 la nchi yetu na kwa hivyo ni wajibu wetu chuo hiki sasa kiendeleze fikra za mzee wetu huyo kwa kuwezi na kuendeleza urithi wake wakati wa utawala wake mwalimu Nyerere alidhamiria kujenga umoja na mshikamano wa taifa letu la Tanzania ilikuwa na makabila mengi yenye lugha tofauti. Kwa kuitegeleza dhamira yake hiyo kwa vitendo. Yeye aliamua kuifanya lugha ya Kiswahili kwa chimbuko kwa ni chimbuko kikuu ya kuyanganisha makabila yote. Kwa muzi kama huo na walichukua hayati mzee wetu mzee Abed Aman Karume mara baada ya mapinduzi kwa kule Zanzibar. Na leo tumeweza kuimarisha lugha yetu ya Kiswahili ndani ya nchi yetu na vile vile kuitangaza nje ya mipaka yetu. Mafanikio tunaendelea kuyapata katika kukikusa Kiswahili katika ngazi ya taifa na kimataifa. Lazima yaungwe mkono na vyo vitu vikuu vilivyomo nchini. Sisi wa Tanzania ndio wenye lugha hii. Kiswahili ni lugha yetu. Na kwa hivyo tufanye juhudi za maksudi katika kuona kwamba tunakitumia na tunakifundisha ipasavyo kuna baraza mawili ya Kiswahili nchini mwetu. Yaani baraza la Kiswahili la Tanzania bara, Bakita na baraza la Kiswahili la Zanzibar, Bakiza. Mabaraza haya mawili yanapaswa kufanya kazi pamoja kwa maelewano ya karibu kwa sababu lengo letu sote ni moja. Kuikuza lugha yetu ili wakivutio kwa wengi waipende lugha hii na wajifunze na kuijua na waitumie kwa maheri mkubwa na kwa usahihi. Hiyo vitu vikuu vinaweza kushirikiana na mabaraza haya kati ya kuendeleza Kiswahili ili kuweze kufika mbali zaidi kuliko kilivyo leo. Ni wazi kwa macho kikuu huria cha Tanzania. Kikiweza kikiweza kikiweka mkazo katika kufundisha Kiswahili kwa mfumo wenu, kwa mfumo wenu kwa masafa. Basi lugha yetu hii itazidi kunawili, itapanuka na itazidi kuwa imara zaidi. Mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo na wageni walikwa. Wahenga wamesema kuzimika kwa koleo sio mwisho wa uhunzi. Kwa maana kwamba elimu haimaliziki. Kwa msomi kumaliza masomo yake ya degree ya mwanzo ya pili au ya tatu. Kwa sababu katika kuendelea kusoma na kujifunza ndipo tutakapoweza kuyaelewa mazingira yetu 
na ma- maendeleo ya ulimwengu kwa jumla ingekuwa si binadamu kuendelea kusoma na kujifunza kila siku basi maisha yetu yasingefikia katika daraja ya tunao hivi leo tumefika hapa kwa kusoma na kujifunza mshamu mkuu chuo na wageni walikwa namalizia hotuba yangu kwa kushukuru tena uongozi wa chuo kikuu hichi huria kwa kunipa heshima kubwa kunialika ni wewe rasmi katika hafla hii muhimu sana natoa shukrani na zangu kwa mkuu wa chuo kwa mara nyingine tena mheshimiwa mizengo kayaanza pita pinda kwa kunipa heshima hii kwa mara ya pili mara hii nimeweza kujikongoja na nimekuja <laughs> kadhalika natoa shukrani kwa wale kwa wenzangu wote wana jumuiya chuo hiki pamoja na wahitimu maofisa wa mvaulizi na usalama wazito wa vyombo vya habari pamoja na wengine wote ambao tumeko pamoja muda wote katika kusherekea mafadhili haya muomba Mwenyezi Mungu awajalie wajumbe baraza la chuo uongozi wa kitaaluma na uendeshaji wa chuo na hapa na kazi zote wa chuo hiki wapate weledi zaidi umahiri mkubwa moja na upendo na mshikamano katika kukiongoza chuo hiki ili kiendelee kupata mafanikio makubwa zaidi kadhalika kwa upande wa wanafunzi namuomba Mwenyezi Mungu nanyi akupeni uwezo wa kuhitimu elimu yenu ipasavyo ili jamii ya taifa letu iendelee kupata baraka na mafanikio kwa manufaa yetu sote na taifa hili lizidi kutajika katika meleani za kikanda na kimataifa Mshamu mwenyekiti mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo na viongozi wote ambao wako huko umeza kuu nataka niwaulize wahitimu wanaohitimu leo wote swala moja lakini sitahitaji swala hilo nipate jibu leo ili nataka wale wote wanaohitimu walichukue swala hilo wakalifanyie kazi ni swala au ni changamoto ni mtaamua chuo kimewatunuku tunzu ya thamani ambayo mnaondoka nayo hapa kwa furaha kubwa leo kila mtu na shahada yake asta shahada au shahada je nyinyi kwa upande wenu mtaitumiaje tunzo hiyo ili chuo na jamii kwa jumla ifaidike na furaha yenu hiyo nayo jamii furahi hilo ndio swali langu msilijibu leo kali tafakarini alafu mlijibu katika maisha yenu kila siku na namna kufanya kazi na kutakieni washiriki wote wa mafali haya ya 39 ya chuo kikuu cha Tanzania mfurahi furahi sio na kifani furaha ni mizani kubwa furaha kubwa kwa ni leo ni siku kuu kwenu kwa nini siku kuu siku kuu ni siku mtu anofurahi na nyie leo kwenu ni furaha kwa ni siku kuu yenu kila mtu akafurahi kwa kiwango chake lakini msivuke viwango vya furaha eh furahi katika viwango vya kawaida vya kibinadamu na kutakieni safari njema kurudia nyumbani mwende na furaha kubwa mfurahi na familia zenu na asiye sote tunakupongezeni kwa furaha ya siku ya leo ya kufanikiwa masomo yenu asanteni sana kwa kunisikiliza nyote tusimame tusimame jamani tusimame pigie makofi ya kutosha mheshimiwa rais mstaafu Shein makofi na vigelegele ya kina dada eh, safi sana Rais Mstafu Sheini Oye. Kwa hotuba nzuri aliyotupatia bado amjatoa amja vya kutosha. Rais Mstafu Sheini Oye. Mahafali ya 39 Oye. Nawashukuru sana. Asante sana mheshimiwa mgeni wetu. Tunaomba tuketi. Tunashukuru sana kwa nasaha zako na hutuba za hutuba yako nzuri kabisa na kwa kweli wewe ni mdau mkubwa wa chuo kikuhuria kama ulivyosema 
na pale kwenye ofisi yako ulipotoka tunaye mwandishi wa hotuba daktari Usi Makame Haji alihitimu PhD yake hapa kwetu chuo kikuu huria na leo pia tunaye mkutubi wa maktaba ya rais kulu bwana Juma Haji naye yuko hapa leo anahitimu shahada ya uzamili katika ukutubi kutoka Zanzibar. Hebu asimame kwa bwana Haji. Ah, huyu hapa. E, kwa hiyo kwa kweli katika ikulu ya Zanzibar tunao wahitimu wengi sana wa chuo hiki lakini vile vile katika sekta mbalimbali mbali za utumishi wa umma, sekta binafsi wanatoka chuo kikuu huria. Chuo kikuu huria oye! Asante sana Profesa Bisanda endelea na utaratibu. Mheshimiwa Abdi rasmi hapa usiku kiweke unazoea signal kwenye kwa kwa yani stoki hapa. Kwa baraza la chuo. Asante kwa mizingati wa meza kuu. Na maneno mawili tu ya kutoa shukurani kwa hotuba kubwa. Jambo la kwanza namshukuru mgeni rasmi kwa hotuba nzuri ambayo imeshaeni ma maneno mengi sana ya busara lakini la pili lile swali ulilouliza lile swali ulilouliza wa yitimu naomba nilirudie kwamba wewe na yitimu leo utakifanyia nini chuo na jumuiya ya Tanzania kwa shahada yako uliyopata endelea kutafakari majibu na amesema kwamba ujibu kwa maisha yako kwa hiyo kwa vitendo Asante sana mgeni rasmi kwa swali zuri. Sasa ni namkaribisha naibu makamu mkuu wa chuo Taaluma aendelee na utaratibu uliopangwa wa kuwahudhurisha wahitimu waliofuzu na kusahimili kutunukiwa shahada za uzamivu. Karibu sana bibi siafa bibi. Huyo ni Profesa Deo Singaruko, naibu makamu mkuu wa chuo Taaluma ambaye sasa anaendelea na utaratibu wa kuwahudhurisha wahitimu kama ulivyopangwa. Profesa Deo Singaruko, karibu sana. Mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania, katika mahafali haya 39 ya chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania, jumla wahitimu 21 wamefuzu na kustahili kutunukiwa shahada ya uzamivu ya udaktari wa falsafa yani doctor of philosophy ya chuo kikuu cha Tanzania kati yao wanaume ni 16 ambao ni sawa na asilimia moja na wanawake ni watano ambao ni sawa na asilimia tisa. kabla ya kuwahudhurisha mbele yako naomba nikutajie mada ya utafiti ya kila mmoja wao Wa kwanza ni Ali Amur Rashid kutathmini mtindo na dhamira katika riwaya za Euphrates Kezrahabi na Muhammad Suleiman huu ni utafiti linganishi. Wa pili ni Ali Nasra Habib athari za mofu ambulishi katika uundaji wa vitenzi vya kisambaa. Watatu Antipas Dograsus Masawe The Determinants of uh, Internal Audit Functions Effectiveness of DSC listed companies. Listed companies in Tanzania. Moderation effect of audit committee. One Dionis Joseph Ndolage the effect of credit facilities on maize productivity of smallholder farmers in Sumbawanga rural and Bozi districts in Tanzania Watano George Buhembere Kalmire the influence of 
customer relationship management on customer potential retention in the telecommunication industry in Tanzania, a case study of Vodacom Company. Wasita Godifrida Clement, identification of entomolo entomological and anthropological drivers for persisting high malaria transmission in Rwanga district in Tanzania. Wasaba ni Hare Nimana Jean Paul, utilization of education management information system for enhancing effective school management, a case study of schools of excellence in Nyarugenge district in Rwanda. Wanane, Kasema Romain, the impacts of small and medium enterprises cap capacity, capability on business performance of Rwanda manufacturing companies. Watisa, Kingwara Robert Adawo, the influence of corporate social responsibility disclosure on financial performance of companies listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange in Kenya. Wakumi Magasi Chacha, the effect of succession planning on the survival of family-owned manufacturing firms in Dar es Salaam region. Kumina Moja, Malipula and George, the principle of best, in, best interest of a child in the context of children in conflict with the law in Tanzania mainland. Wakumina Mbiri, Mary Ivan Joseph, the place of e-reference services in university teaching, learning, and research. The case of University of Dar es Salaam and Mwenge Catholic University Libraries in Tanzania. Wakumina Tatu, Mofuga Simbalimile, the influence of leadership attributes of heads of school, uh, secondary schools on the students' academic performance in selected secondary schools in Tanzania, a case study on Buru District. Wakumina Ne, Mubanga Clement Bernard, determination and proof of Tanzanian citizenship. Wakumina Tano, Noel Julius Tawigaya, the impact of teacher educators' professional ethics practices on student teachers in teacher training colleges in Imbea region. Wakumina Sita, Prosper Ansifrida, gender differences in teaching and learning ah. using information and communication technologies at the Open University of Tanzania. Wakumina Saba, Sasi Akinye Lydia, a gendered analysis of the determinants of young farmers' intention to use ICT for accessing agriculture marketing information, a case study of Moshi and Ifakara councils. Wakumina Nane, Shata Deus Nicodemus, the critical success factors for adoption of national electronic procurement system in the public sector in Tanzania. Wakumina Tisa, Sote Azimio, Uchambuzi wa unyambulishaji vitenzi katika lugha ya kimalila. Number 20, Suta Damas, the human resource practices and performance of Tanzania local government authorities, a case study of Kinondone and Bozi district councils. Na waishina moja, Nitogolai William Mbega, causes of academic performance disparities between government and non-government secondary schools in Mwanza urban Tanzania. Mwishimi wa mkua chuo, sasa na weshima kwa udhurisha, watafiti hawa wote mbele yako kama ifuatavi. 
na kwa utaratibu ulio uliopangwa wa kwanza ali amur rashid kutoka peba asante sana hongera sana amur rashid huyo ni mwanafunzi ambaye amesimamiwa na profesa Emmanuel Mbogo pamoja na dr Omar Mohamed Maguo ambaye ni MC kwenye shule ya leo tumemsimamia hatimaye amehitimu PhD yake kutoka Pemba kule visiwani tunaamini kwamba eh, okay endelea ni Ali Nasra Habib Nasra Habib karibu sana Mwalimu wetu huyo mfanyakazi wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania. Usiondoke. Unarudi pale pale ulipokuwa. Watatu ni Antipas Deogratias Masawe. Prime Minister Mr. Mezengo. Masawe naye mfanyakazi wa chuo kikuu. And they are being called by their names and uh, if you've just joined us the event was opened by the vice chancellor of the open university of tanzania then professor rokiza mokandara who is the president of the senate also came and gave his speech but again the event was officially opened by the representative of the regional i mean the representative of Pwani the RC of Pwani who has been represented by the by Mr. Ntemo. Then we went ahead to listen to the speech of the Vice President, I mean the Vice Chancellor of the Open University of Tanzania who went ahead and welcomed uh, the former President of Zanzibar who is the guest of honor who went ahead and gave his speech. And now what you're seeing is uh, a total of 21 PhD students who are now being conferred their PhD degrees, which is actually the main event which is happening here. So they are now in front of you, Chacha as you can gasi. see, they have been accompanied by the research supervisors, the PhD supervisors. So one after one is being called in front to receive their PhD degrees. This is actually a huge achievement. Uh, as it was said before in the speech of the Vice Chancellor of the Open University of Tanzania, and the Chancellor, Honorable former President of Zanzibar, Dr. Ali Mohammed Shane, that there are over 100,000 admissions of students at the Open University of Tanzania. And since the commencement of the university, since the inception of the university, more than 46,000 students have been able to graduate in different degrees at certificate level diploma level, bachelor level, master's degrees, and PhD degrees. And today, what you're seeing right now here in front of you, there'll be a total of about 3,000 students who will be conferred their degrees. And uh, the event has just started by uh, these 21 graduates who have just completed their PhDs one by one is being called in front we also have a group of uh, Ghanaian graduates from Accra uh, from Lao University in Accra, Ghana they are also expected to receive their master's degrees in Masters of Business Administration. They're with us live from Accra, Ghana, as we speak. But the event right now here is happening live at Kibaha, Bongo, which is the headquarters of the Open University of Tanzania. 
sote yeah. azimio lugha ya kimalila ile mlifurahia sana ile the chance imesimamia mimi na dr julius frank yule anayemsindikiza pa honorable mezengo kayanza peter pinda who was the former vice president of the united republic of tanzania is now conferring these phd degrees to these 21 graduates and this exercise has just started which will then be followed by conferment of other degrees of masters and then bachelor degrees and then Commander wetu kutoka songwe kule ongera sana will be certificate degrees from different courses And now Honorable Mizengo Kayanza Peter Pinda is officially conferring the PhD degrees of these 21 PhD graduates that you're seeing in front of your screen right now as I caught him by the authority that has been bestowed to him by the Senate Makofi of the Open University of Tanzania Washangilie vya kutosha kabisa wa itimu wetu hao PhD degrees to kutoka chuo kikuhuria cha Tanzania sio kazi nyepesi ni kazi nzito kidogo tunawapa kongole na kongezi sana kwa kazi nzuri Hongereni, Hongereni, Hongereni sana. Uhudhurishaji huu unafuatiliwa moja kwa moja katika mtandao wa Zoom kwa wanafunzi wetu ambao wako Ghana. Kwa hiyo wanafuatilia moja kwa moja. Lakini vile vile kwenye ODM TV YouTube channel ya Chuo Kikuu Huria shule hii ipo mubashara inafuatiliwa nchi nzima na duniani kwa ujumla. Professor Garuku As I said earlier, 61 graduates from Accra, Ghana, our, our constituency, our, I mean the, uh, the Lawe University, the Lawe Open University from Ghana, 61 students are also expected to, to receive their degrees. So after these 21 PhD students being conferred, the PhD degrees what is following next is uh, other students who will also be given the master's degrees As we say, Mimi za chuo kikuu hili cha Tanzania, yani master degree katika fani mbalimbali. Kati yao wanaume ni 199 ambao ni sawa na 69 na wanawake ni 90 ambao ni sawa na 31. Wahitimu katika shahada ya uzamili ya usimamizi wa miradi, yani master of project management ambao jumla yao ni 22 na majina yao yameorodheshwa katika ukurasa wa kumi hadi wa moja. Wahitimu 32 katika shahada ya uzamili katika uongozi wa biashara yani master of business administration ambao majina yao yameorodheshwa katika ukurasa wa kumi moja so what follows next as i said earlier are masters degrees graduates masters of project management masters of business administration masters of human resources management all these coming forward that you're seeing right now on your screen are expected graduates 
from different master's level here at the Open University of Tanzania. And they are lining up in front, ready to receive their degrees. This is a huge achievement, as you can see. Unfortunately, these will not be mentioned by name, one after one, like the PhD degrees, but they're all being called in front. All these that you see, expected graduates who have just completed their master's degrees. They are being called in front, ready to receive their degrees. This is a huge achievement for them. Our dear viewers on YouTube channel, our ODL, TV, which is being broadcasted live on YouTube. We are live from Kibaha at the headquarters of the Open University of Tanzania here in Bongo Grounds to witness the 39th graduation of the Open University of Tanzania, whereby a total of 3,000 students, 3,000 graduates will be provided with their degrees from different levels. We have just witnessed 21 graduates of PhDs being given their degrees. And now what you're seeing right now in front of your screen are expected master's graduates and the Chancellor of the Open University of Tanzania is going to confer their master's degrees in different fields and different courses. Expected graduates in Masters of Monitoring and Evaluation are also coming in front. Seven graduates in Masters of Science and Economics, whose names have been listed in the graduation book, are also invited to come in front. Five graduates in Masters of Arts and Governorship are also welcomed in front. We also have six graduates in Masters of Science and Environmental Studies whose names have been listed in page 20 of the graduation book are also invited to come front six graduates six graduates of masters of resource management are also being called in front to be confirmed with their masters degrees we also have nine graduates of Masters of Arts in Mass Communication, whose names have been listed in the graduation book, have also been called in front. I see Mr. Pasco Shalotete, Assistant Commissioner and Director of Communications from Tanapa, Miss Eti Kusiluka, Christina Mponji, Jacqueline Moshe, and many others who have just completed their master's degrees in mass communication have also been called in front, ready to receive their master's degrees. There is also one graduate 
who is also graduating today in Masters of Arts in Journalism. He's also coming forward. Four graduates who are also taking Masters of Humanitarian also being called in front. Shortly, dear viewer of our YouTube channel, which is seeing right now on your screen, uh, master students being called in front of the chancellor so that they should be provided with their master's degrees. The procedure is, as you can see, all expected graduates Literally, they're not graduates yet until the degrees have been conferred upon them by the Chancellor of the Open University of Tanzania. So the procedure is they're not supposed to put on their hats until the degrees have been conferred upon them. That is why you see all of them putting off their caps and immediately after the degrees have been conferred upon them, they will wear their, they will put on their hats, signifying that they are already masters holders. They are already masters in their respective fields. And now after mentioning all the names of the people who are expected to receive, and now the Chancellor of the Open University of Tanzania, Honorable Pinda, is now officially announcing that with the authority that has been given to him by the Senate and the Council of the Open University of Tanzania, he has officially bestowed the master's degrees from different courses in different fields that <laughs> have been studied. There is a huge for them congratulating these master's degrees. Dear viewers of our YouTube channel, ODL TV, as I told you before, we also have our colleagues, graduates from Lawe University in Ghana, a total of 61 graduates have graduated from Lao University, Ghana, specifically 11 students, 11 graduates from who have been taking their master's degrees in business management in, in Lao University, Ghana. We are very happy to have them. Although they are not here, but I'm sure that they are viewing us live on our YouTube channel. Yeah, and and now what is following next, as I told you before, 11 graduates from Lao University, Ghana, are about to be mentioned, and their names are being mentioned right now, the graduates from Lao University, Ghana. And up the Chancellor of the Open University of Tanzania has now officially bestowed the master's degrees in business administration to the 11 Yamani students from the University of Ghana. They are viewing this This huge applause that you hear is for the 11 graduates from Lao University in Ghana. The Director of Postgraduate Studies continues with mentioning names of more students from different courses who are also graduating in their master's degrees. Mm. 
These are names of graduates who have been taking postgraduate diploma. Eight graduates in postgraduate diploma in business studies. As their names have been listed in the 28th page of the graduation book, they are now being called in front. This coming forward are postgraduate, postgraduate graduates. These are students who have been taking postgraduate diplomas in various courses at the Open University of Tanzania. There are not many. There are only three. Only three are present here. And the director is kindly asking the chancellor to bestow their postgraduate diplomas with the authority bestowed to me by the Senate, I am officially conferring to you postgraduate diplomas in the courses that you've been taking as listed in the graduation book. There is a huge round of applause diplomas for these uh, three postgraduate diploma graduates. Kuwa kitivo cha sanaa na sayansi za jamii tuendelee na utaratibu The Dean of Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences Dr. Felicia Mutasa has taken to the podium to to mention the 185 names of students who have graduated in different bachelor degrees we have 123 men, which is equal to women are only 34%. Yeah, so names will be called and uh, the people will come forward. We have graduates from Bachelor of Arts in Mass Communication. It's actually 22 students from Bachelor of Arts in Mass Communications as listed in the graduation book. We also have 27 graduates from Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. The names are not being called, but uh, they're kindly being asked to come in front. There is also one graduate in Bachelor of Arts in Social Work. So all these students that you're seeing in front of you are students who have graduated from the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences who have been taking various courses in programs of mass communication, sociology, social work. And there are also 27 graduates who have been taking Bachelor of Arts in Social Work. All these are being called in front, and the vice chancellor, I mean the chancellor of the Open University of Tanzania, Honorable Peter Pinder, the former Prime Minister of the United Republic of Tanzania, will confer their bachelor degrees. That are three graduates have been called in front. These are the ones who have been taking Bachelor of Arts in Public Administration as they have been listed 
from page 35 to page 36 of the graduation book. We also have 18 graduates, uh, those who are taking Bachelor of Arts in International Relations. They're now also being called in front. We also have three graduates who have been taking Bachelor of Arts in Natural Resources. They're also being called in front. This is the Dean of Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, Dr. Felician Mutasa, who is calling in front about 183 students who have graduated in different courses, some of them being mass communication, sociology, social work, political science, public administration, tourism, all these different causes that you're hearing right now belong to the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences. We also have journalism students who are expected to graduate today. And we also have one graduate who will be graduating in Bachelor of History. We also have six graduates Six students who have been taking Bachelor of Arts in Community Development. And now the Dean of Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences is happy to present the names to the Chancellor of the Open University of Tanzania so that he should confer their degrees. And now the Chancellor of the Open University of Tanzania is officially conferring degrees as mentioned earlier, Bachelor of Arts degrees. Now the graduates are wearing their hats signifying that uh, the degrees have already been conferred on them. Makofi ya kutosha makofi na vigelegele kwa wahiti muetu hao. Wakitivo cha sana na sayansi za jamii. Congratulations. Haya jishangilie ni na nyewe nyewe basi. A total of 183 hey, students who have graduated from Alafu different courses from the Aubi. Faculty of Arts Mambo safi, eh? and Social Pongereni Sciences. Sana. Sana. Sana the abora. new graduates are very hey, happy and they are going back rasmi. to take their seats. So sana. the exercise of hey, conferring degrees sana. to the graduates of Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences is safi over. Sana. And now we Aye. have more. Mtiva, kitivo cha elimu, endelea na utaratibu. Now this is the Faculty of Education. And the Dean of Faculty of Education right now is announcing that a total of 335 students from the Faculty of Education have successfully graduated in their degrees. There have been 130 graduates in Bachelor of Arts with Education. As listed in the graduation book on page 40. This is the Faculty of Education. Usually the Faculty of Education has the highest number of graduates in most universities. 163 more students from the Faculty of Education are also being called in front to ready to receive their Bachelor of Arts degrees. There are also two graduates in Bachelor of Education as listed in the graduation book are also being called in front. What you're seeing right now are students from the Faculty of Education randomly coming forward and lining up in front of the Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, and other distinguished guests. 
ready to be conferred upon their degrees. Adult and distance learning graduates are also being called in front. Other 23 graduates, Bachelor of Education and Special Education are also being called in front. 15 graduates, 15 graduates. Also been called in front. Now the Dean of Faculty of Education is asking the permission from the Chancellor of the Open University of Tanzania to present the names which have been mentioned. And now the Chancellor of the Open University of Tanzania with the authority that has been bestowed on him by the Senate, he is now officially conferring the degrees to these students from Faculty of Education, and they are now wearing their hats, signifying that, signifying that they holders degrees. Aya sasa mkafundishe vizuri kule mashuleni. Tumeambiwa sasa wahitimu okay. anatakiwa wapate ujuzi na sio kukariri na kukremu. Jukumu hilo tunaamini tumewaivisha vizuri. Sasa mkafanye hiyo kazi. Asante sana walimu. From different Safi sana. bachelor degrees from the faculty of Aye. education. Tuende kwa haraka kidogo. Now going back to the seats. Hai. And now Utiva kitivo cha biashara endelea na utaratibu the faculty of business he has taken to the podium to read the numbers and the names of the graduates from the faculty of business 193 graduates 143 graduates are from Tanzania and 50 graduates are from Ghana as i told you before these have successfully completed their bachelor degrees in business management. Those that you heard early were 11 graduates from the faculty of business who had uh, successfully completed their master's degrees. And these extra 50 students are the ones who are taking their bachelor degrees. So from Lao University, Ghana, we have a total of uh, about 60 students, 50 students who are now graduating in Bachelor of Business Management. And earlier on, we had 11 students who had graduated in Masters of Business Management. These that you see coming in front right now are graduates from the Faculty of Business being called to receive their degrees. Seven students of Bachelor of Business Administration with Human Resources Management. They are also being called in front. So this is the third session now. We first started by PhD students being called in front by their names and the names of their dissertation, the names of their, I mean the titles of their research were read and one by one after being called their names and being accompanied by the research supervisors were given their PhD degrees then followed master's students then came 
master's students from the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences. Then came more students from the Faculty of Education. And what you're seeing now are students, undergraduate students specifically from the Faculty of Business who are taking different courses in the Faculty of Business are uh, being called in front to receive their degrees and now the Dean of Faculty of Business is presenting the students to the Chancellor of the Open University of Tanzania and now the Chancellor of the Open University of Tanzania is conferring the bachelor degrees to all the students from the Faculty of Business as their names appear in the graduation book and they are now wearing their hats signifying the official conferment of their degrees. The exercise of conferring to a shangili of Yakutosha Yamani of Fanya Biashara went to Hajis, Wanata Luma, Masala Biashara, and now Kabuli Miradi Kule Sasa, Tueze Kupata Ajira Mkua Kitivo Tunakwenda Kua Kua Pawale Wagana, Osio Sawa Basi Hebu Waite Apo, Asoge Karibuna na screen. Okay, also Honorable Counselor. In this graduation ceremony, there are 50 graduates from Hawaii Open University College of Ghana who are students of the Open University. Now, the Dean of Faculty of Business is taking the chance to announce the students from Lawe University of Ghana, as I've said before. 19 graduates are left, while the 31 graduates are female. I request the graduate to come forward so that they can be visible on screen so that you can confer their degrees. Uh, sorry, I would like maybe to mention their specializations. So nine graduates have graduated from Bachelor of Business Administration in Finance and Accounting and then 24 graduates of the Bachelor of Business Administration in uh, Human Resource Management, and then uh, 15 graduates of the Bachelor of Business Administration and International Business Management, and uh, four graduates of Bachelor of Business Administration in Marketing. Honorable Counselor, I now have Hana to present it to you all graduates as listed in the 39th graduation booklet. Upon the powers bestowed on me, I confer you a bachelor degree of the Open University of Tanzania in the areas of your specialization as listed in this graduation booklet. <laughs> Jamani tuwape makofi watatusikia. Asante sana, asante sana, asante sana. Haya, mtiva kitivo cha sayansi, karibu uendele na utaratibu. Mwishimiwa mkua chuo, katika maafali haya 39 ya chukuku hurea cha Tanzania, Jumla ya waitimu sabini na moja katika kitivo cha sayansi, teknolojia na taluma za mazingira wamefuzu na kustahili kutunukiwa shada ya kwanza, yaani bachelor degree ya chukiku huria cha Tanzania. Kati yao wanaume ni sitini, ambo ni sawa na sidimia themanina tano, na wanawake ni kumina moja, ambo ni sawa na sidimia kumina tano. Waitimu kumi wa shada ya sayansi, yani Bachelor of Science ambao majina yao yameorodheshwa katika ukurasa wa 62 wa kitabu cha mahafali. Naomba kama wapo wasogee mbele. 
Wahitimu kumi na tano wa shahada ya sayansi na elimu yani Bachelor of Science with Education ambao majina yao yameorodheshwa katika ukurasa wa 63 wa kitabu cha mahafari. Wahitimu 23 wa saada ya sayansi ya taaluma za mazingira yani Bachelor of Science in Environmental Studies ambao majina yao yameorodheshwa katika ukurasa wa 63 na 64. Wahitimu wawili wa shahada ya sayansi katika rasilimali ya nishati yani Bachelor of Science in Energy Resources ambao majina yao yameorodheshwa katika ukurasa wa 64 wa kitabu cha mafari. Wahitimu 14 wa shahada ya sayansi katika teknolojia ya habari na mawasiliano yani Bachelor of Science in Information and Communication Technology ambao majina yao yameorodheshwa katika ukurasa wa 64 na 65 wa timu wa nne wa shahada ya sayansi katika usimamiaji wa taarifa yani Bachelor of Science in Data Management ambao majina yao yameorodheshwa katika ukurasa wa 65. Wahitimu watatu wa shahada ya sayansi katika chakula na lishe yani Bachelor of Science in Food, Nutrition and Dietetics ambao majina yao yameorodheshwa katika ukurasa wa 65. Mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo sasa ninayo heshima kuwahudhurisha kwa hitimu wote waliopo na wasio kuwepo kama walivyorodheshwa majina yao kwenye kitabu cha maafari ya 39 kwa mamlaka niliyopewa ninawatunuku shahada za kwanza yani bachelor degrees za chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania kama majina yenu yalivyorodheshwa kwenye kitabu cha mahafari haya <tune> Asante sana wanasayansi. Tuwapigie makofi jamani wanasayansi wetu hawa. Na nyie basi jipigieni makofi wanasayansi. Eh, ongereni sana. Ongereni sana. Sasa ni mtiva kitivo cha sheria. Dr. Indistone, karibu endelee na utaratibu. Mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo sasa ninayo heshima kwa kuhudhurisha wahitimu wote waliopo na wasio kuwepo kama walivyoorodheshwa majina yao kwenye kitabu cha mahafali ya 39 kwa mamlaka niliyopewa ninawatunuku shahada za kwanza yani bachelor degrees za chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania kama majina yenu yalivyoorodheshwa kwenye kitabu cha mahafali haya Asante sana wanasheria. Tuwapigie makofi jamani wanasheria wenzetu hao. E, waende wakatuhudumie vizuri. Jamani wanasheria hebu jipigieni makofi basi. E, ongereni sana kwa kazi nzuri. Sasa mkatumikie wa Tanzania na watu wote katika Sali dunia. Ni heshima kuwahudhurisha wahitimu wote waliopo na wasio kuwepo kama walivyoorodheshwa majina yao kwenye kitabu cha mahafali. Kwa mamlaka niliyopewa ninawatunuku stashahada yani diplomas za chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania kama majina yenu yalivyoorodheshwa kwenye kitabu cha mahafali haya <tune> Hongereni sana tuwapigie makofi watu wa Asta Shahada wa Asta Shahada diplomas mbalimbali mbali, ambao wamehitimu leo 
katika mahafali haya ya 39 tunao walimu pale wa kutosha kabisa hebu jipigieni makofi basi haya mkafundishe watoto wetu kule vizuri kabisa sante sana endelea kurugenzi mheshimiwa mkuu wa chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania katika mahafali haya jumla ya wahitimu tisa wamefuzu na kustahili kutunukiwa asta shahada yani certificates za chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania kati yao wanaume ni 616 ambao ni sawa na asilimia hamsini na tatu na wanawake ni 543 ambao ni sawa na asilimia 47 wahitimu moja na thelathini katika programu ya maandalizi yani certificate in foundation program ambao majina yao yameorodheshwa katika ukurasa wa sita mpaka wa 130 wahitimu arobaini katika asta shahada ya kazi za vijana yani certificate in youth work ambao majina yao yameorodheshwa katika ukurasa wa 130 mpaka 131 wahitimu moja katika asta shahada ya ukutubi na usimamizi wa habari yani certificate in library and information studies ambao majina yao yameorodheshwa katika ukurasa wa 132 wahitimu na moja katika asta shahada ya mitindo ya nywele na urembo okay. yani certificate in hair dressing and beauty therapy ambayo majina yao yameorodheshwa katika ukurasa wa 132 mpaka 133 mhitimu mmoja katika asta shahada ya elimu kwa masafa yani wa 135 na wahitimu ishirini na watatu katika asta shahada ya sayansi katika teknolojia ya habari na mawasiliano yani basic certificate in information and communication technology ambao majina yao yako katika ukurasa wa 135 mpaka 136 safi sana simama kidogo nenda nenda jamani tumpigie makofi ya kutosha eh bwana huyo amekuja hapa leo ameonyesha ujasiri mkubwa maana wale wengi wa certificate huwa wapendi kufika wanasema paka tupate degree lakini kumbe kwa kufika hapa maana yake unajifunza na unaimarika zaidi. Hongera hongera sana. Tupigie makofi ya kutosha. <laughs> Safi sana. Eh, jamaa ameonyesha ujasiri huyo. Hongera sana. Sasa utafika mpaka kwenye PhD. Eh, tupigie tena makofi ya kutosha. Asante sana Mheshimiwa Mkuu wa Chuo. Naona sasa tumefikia mwisho wa shughuli yetu kwa maana ya kuwahudhurisha lakini kabla hujavunja mahafali kidogo wakati ulikuwa una, unafanya kazi yako hiyo na tangu tulivyoanza kuna beti mbili tatu za mashairi nimeziandaa ongeza ubunifu kazini unyumbufu utaongeza uzoefu utaongeza uzoefu tija katika kazi sote wazimio hongera kwa mafanikio tunahitaji maendeleo lugha yetu ya Kiswahili hongera ndugu chacha nimeiona yako picha mubashara hujaificha joho uzamivu umepigilia ndugu yangu mofuga yametimia mafiga matatu yote umepiga phd umebafua <laughs> mari aivani nakasema Rama romani naye buhemberekerini hongereni sana hongereni <laughs> Asante sana na washukuru sana na washukuru sana kwa kwa kunitunza Chuo kikuria oye
Chuo kikuri ya safi Mahafala 39 oye Asante sana Mweshmua Profesa Bisanda Karibu endele na utaratibu e, Ni wapongeze sana wa itimu wote Mweshmua mgeni rasmi Mweshmua chancellor Mweshmua mwenye kiti wa baraza la chuo Tunakaribia mwisho wa maafali yetu lakini naomba niseme neno moja kwa wahitimu. Wahitimu mmepewa mmevalishwa kofia, umejivalisha wenyewe kofia. Lakini naonekana wengine hawajui utamaduni wa hizi kofia. Naomba nieleze tena. Kabla huja graduate, ushungi huu unakuwa mkono wa kulia. Kwa kama umekaa mkono wa kulia, ina maana huja graduate. Baada kugai yetu na kama mkono wa kushoto Na ndivyo chansa likuwa na wabalisha Lakini halipo wabalisha mkaenda mkabadilisha Kwa hini naomba mrekebishe kofia zenu Kama huja graduate weka kusho, kulia Lakini kama ma graduate vaa kama ndivyo vaa mimi Kushoto Hii kofia inaruhusu kuvaa mbele au nyuma Baada ya hapo ni mkaribishe tena mkua chuo aweze kufunga maafali haya. Baada kumaliza kufunga tutakuwa na session ya kupiga picha, alafu ndio tutatawanyika. Asanteni sana. Karibu chanzo. Kwa mamlaka niliyopewa sasa na vunja maafali haya ya 39 ya chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania. <tos> Asante sana bendi yetu. Makofi ya kutosha. Jamani tunafunga sasa. Makofi ya kutosha. Mahafale ya 39 oye. Asante sana. Sasa tutasimama kwa ajili ya wimbo wa taifa. Alafu tukimaliza wimbo wa taifa. Tutapata picha ya pamoja na viongozi wetu. Alafu tutaendelea na ratiba ingini. Asante sana. Bendi yetu. Asante sana brass bandi yetu.